Hey guys, uh, welcome back to episode 5. Um, so, two things. One, someone actually recruited, I mean, actually committed to Stanford, which is pretty early. I don't know why he did it so early, but that's pretty cool. And the other thing is, for now, I'm probably going to just not talk during the games. I'm going to have to talk during like the recruiting process. But see, you'll, you'll see the guy, Jeff Parker, committed. It's pretty early, week one. You know, whatever, but... Yeah, I'm probably not going to talk during the games, just so you can get a better idea of how games actually feel with all, like, the commentary. And so, yeah, I probably won't talk during the games. And usually these scouting episodes won't be too long. Because, like I said in the first scouting episode, it really depends on how much you need them. Like, that, that'll tell you how much time you want to actually spend in them, like, recruiting them. So, I'll, I'll show a couple of these. So, he's better at press. Okay, that's good. I don't need him, though, so I don't know how much time to allocate to him. So, but whatever. Okay. Hold on, let me just get this. Actually, never mind. Um... So I think I'm going to talk to this guy first. He's uh, pretty much fully scouted, so might as well just scout him. Okay, that didn't tell me anything. He's only 5'11", 260. It's pretty good though, so... Okay. So since we're the number one school for him... Um, I don't need to put like 60 minutes, even though I need him for like next year. I don't think I need to put a ton of time into him. I mean, 40 is a good number. If if like, like the num if your school is probably the number one thing, but you do need them, you should probably put like 30 or 40 minutes in. Okay. Oh, achievement. So earn a minimum of 75 recruiting points on our prospect choice topic. See, that's a lot easier to get if, like, you're good at several things. And so since he just happened to choose something that he, he's interested about and my school's actually good at, I got a lot of points. And see, if you choose the right things, you can still get a lot of points just from four questions. So 346 is really good. Especially if it's not, like, six questions. I got more. I think I need a center, so I should probably talk to him for a while. Four. Yeah, four. Just like the other guy. No, yeah, definitely do this. Uh, no, I'll just make pitch. Yeah, because I get the pipeline state bonus anyways. Wow, that did not give me that many points. See, that's the thing. Like, don't use prospect choice a lot. Unless you have a bunch of things that you're really good at. If you only have like two or three, then it's probably not the smartest idea. Unless you don't have any other option. It does help you like find out what they actually like, but... You know, it's not the best. Because <laughs> they usually choose stuff that you don't like if you don't have that many things you're good at. Yeah, this guy, I don't need a cornerback. But he's good, so I'll just skip to the guy that I actually need. Crap, USC's. Damn it. Okay, I'd rather do this guy because Stanford's higher up on his list than USC. See, and the problem with some of these people is that the stuff that you're good at, and so even if they're your number one, if like if you're their number one school, a lot of the stuff that they don't like happens to be what you're best at, which makes no sense. But I should schedule a visit for this guy. Um, I guess this week, actually. Might as well. So definitely not next week, because I don't think I can beat USC. But who knows? Who knows, honestly? Uh, I guess... Proximity or prospect now. Oh, that's a good one. I got lucky there. But you do get a prospect's choice bonus, so that's the good thing about choosing prospect's choice. 
Not gonna get him. Uh, who else do I need? Wait, let me check. Um, I do need the punter, so I'm probably gonna have to spend like 60 minutes on both of them because there's only two and none of them. I think only one. I don't even remember if one of them is, has Stanford as their top school, so I'm probably gonna need to do 60 for both of them. This guy's worse at tackling, but I do need an outside linebacker, so I'm gonna have to talk to at least two of them. But since I doubt they're gonna go to any of the other schools, I'm only gonna spend 30 minutes on it. So he's interested, that's good. Very high, and I got an A plus, so that's really good. Proximity to home. I'm like, don't um, don't bother comparing schools unless they have like a C or below, and you have like an A. If there's a two letter grade difference, then you might as well do it. But if it's like A and B plus, there's really no point. See, that was a that was a nice one. Two fifty for only three. Um. And honestly, it just keeps going like this. Um, next week, I'll, I'll definitely tell you if there's anyone who else, anyone else um, commits. And I mean, I, I might talk to a couple more of these people, but I'm definitely going to be talking to the punters for at least an, like for an hour. Because I don't think any of them have Stanford as their number one choice. Like this guy, who would be really good. Uh, so really, that's it for this episode. Um, I'll be posting the second game versus Duke pretty soon. I don't know if it'll be today, but it'll be soon. Like, in the next couple days, at least. So yeah, this is DWTV2010, and see you next episode.